Hello YouTube, how you doing? You want to watch some Dwarf Fortress? He says burping and hiccuping at the same time. Well, now you're aware of the quality of this stream, let's get down to business, shall we? Let's get down to business. Let's play some Dwarf Fortress. Let's uh, have a look at the fort and unpause it. So, the uh, topic of conversation prior to the starting of recording, I'm talking to you again, YouTubers, uh, don't worry, liveies, I'll get back to you, um, was whether or not to open the fortress up a bit, you know, air it out, allow the dwarves to come outside, have a little vomit, as they do, and then, you know, maybe meet some traders, that kind of shit. The poll that I took came out 50-50, so no real direction from that. However, I'm thinking maybe I'm willing to lay a few traps down, and I know you're already sighing, I know you're already rolling your eyes. I know you're already saying, ah, oh, fucking trap corridor, scoundrel. What is this? Every fort you've ever done. And in a way, I suppose it has inherited a lot of traits from prior fortresses. But, I mean, look, we've got this tiny little gang of savage little bastards. We could probably easily deal with them, right? By just chucking them in the volcano after we've caged them. You know? Zombo, volcano, pss, sizzle, gone. Easy peasy. Dare I go further? Lemon squeezy. Hmm? What do you reckon? I mean, my plan would be to dig an unfinished corridor somewhere maybe here, something like that, that uh, connects up. Or maybe we could do it on the other side of the trade depot. Just come through here, bosh, and then when it's time to activate the corridor, just dig out the final bits. And that'll look kind of cool-ish, I think, maybe, possibly. I don't know. Regardless, it would be a good place to put some uh, some lovely traps, wouldn't it? So, without further ado, let's start digging this corridor. I know chat are rolling their eyes at me, but I can't see it because you're typing. And, uh, you know, unless you write the words, rolls eyes, I am never going to be able to uh, know. All right, look at this. I'm doing, it's a different kind of trap corridor from what you're used to. This is not your grandpa's trap corridor. Not your grandpa's trap. It's a trap. Actually, Star Wars is so old now, those traps probably are your grandpa's traps. Actually, this, I'm good. maybe I'll go utterly berserk and do the fucking twistiest, turniest corridor the world of Dwarf Fortress has ever seen. An insane, pathing nightmare that will allow nobody who goes through it to come out the other side sane. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be incredible. This is going to be the twistiest, turniest piece of architecture this world will ever be capable of being aware of. Sorry, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. Let's come down here, like that. Oh, look at this. I can already hear the rees from chat. People saying, it's hideous. I hate it. The way you play Dwarf Fortress makes me physically sick. For God's sake. But it's okay. It's okay. The world will not end because I have succumbed to the lure of the snaky, twisty trap corridor. It would be fine. Think how many fucking cage traps we can fit in here. It's going to be unbelievable. My fortress will be fully open, yet utterly impenetrable. It's going to be amazing. I mean, we could potentially smooth and fortify every one of those walls between these doodars and then have our boys shooting arrows through them, right? Or bolts, rather. Bolts, he says with a rather weird twinge on his voice. Okay, we're gonna go down one more row here. And then we're gonna bring it all the way down here. Oops, not there. Like this. Oh, look at that, it penetrates perfectly symmetrically. Ooh, ooh, symmetrical penetration. Now there's a name for a band. Ooh, ooh. Who doesn't love that? It's snaky, it's twisty, it's turny, it can be filled with cages or weapon traps or anything. It's going to be amazing! It's going to be bloody fantastic! Oafsalot says, hi YouTube. Uh, oh, I scrolled and <laughs> I lost it. No, no. Um, trap corridors are a valid expression of DF. Oafsalot is also protesting that he paid, clearly paid for a penis or no penis poll. Well, we can always uh, we can always do the poll, I suppose. I mean, I don't think asking if people want to see my penis is breaking terms of service. It probably is, actually. It probably is. Could we uh, we got any um, got any penis experts in chat who can tell me if even I mean it's it's very passion it's very sexually passive aggressive, isn't it? 
but but if I could show you my penis, would you like to see it? You know, that's not the kind of thing, it's not the kind of atmosphere we're trying to be, you know, it's not the, not the kind of atmosphere I'm trying to build on this stream. I'm certainly um, not averse to a little bit of penis-based humour, clearly, but, you know, when it comes to the actual, you know, art of, uh, art? I was about to say the art of penises, and then I thought, what the fuck am I talking about? Do you anyone remember? Did anybody have a science textbook in school in which all of the cooling towers on the nuclear reactors that uh, were in the book on the page about nuclear power had been uh, like, turned into penises? Because uh, that, that happened in my school books. Never my school, but my school books remained very much undefaced by penises, but I saw some examples of. Uh, very intricate penis work on some of these school books. To be honest, I mean, I am amazed that none of those illuminated like manuscripts from the uh, the days of yore actually have no penises in them. I mean, I'm probably wrong. There probably are penises all over them, but I've just not seen them because I thought like a like a like drawing a penis is like um it's an almost primal expression that is universal among like people in education, right? I mean, I must admit, I went to an all-boys school, so that may have skewed the statistics somewhat. But I mean, you know, show me an, an un, show me a graffiti textbook that contains no penises, and I will show you a unique, a unique tome. I could be wrong though. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> this has gone a bit weird, hasn't it? Um, let's scroll down here. Righteous Boner. Lol, yes, we will develop the technology. I mean, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. But uh, what an apropos name. Amazing. Developing the technology for penis poles, presumably. Uh, Beardster says, Lucius Fox invents all Batman's gear. Oh, is that is that a fact? My knowledge of Batman comes from a very narrow period of Batman comics uh, in which... Uh, my favourite villain was a guy called Cornelius Stark who scared the shit out of people and then ate their hearts which, because they tasted better after he'd scared them to death. Uh, that was in, during one of the darker Batman phases, I think. Uh, where were we? Let's keep going down chat. Let's see there. Uh, Righteous Bonus says, Wait, what's your YouTube? I'm going to follow that shit. Well, if you type exclamation mark YouTube into chat, you'll get a link that goes straight there, and it'll be very exciting. Of course, if anyone watching this on YouTube wants to find any of my other shit, just Google the underscore scoundrel underscore M, and through the powerful magic of underscore SEO making my name unique, you will probably only find stuff about me. But there's not enough content on the internet for it to really fill a full Google search result, so, you know, if you find anything interesting that comes up under my name, feel free to screen cap it and pop it in my Discord. How's that for cross-promotion? Mm, Discord and YouTube working together in perfect synergy. Fucking hell. Oh, God, that was good. Anyway, where were we? Um, let's keep looking down here. I do enjoy cage trap tunnels for the use in future creative projects, says Xavier St. Cloud. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad at least one person in chat is going to be enjoying a little bit of uh, trappy tunnel. Tunnel trappy time. Can you create traps that enemies will fall in, but your lovely dwarves won't? Yes, stay Velociraptor. By default, that is the status of traps. Cage traps, unless my dwarves are knocked unconscious while they pass over them, they will not get caught in cage traps or trigger dangerous uh, attack traps. Attack traps? Weapon traps, spike traps, spinning blade traps, etc, etc. It's good. <gasps> Ooh, we do have an infinite supply of sand. We do have magma. We could make some glass workshops and start creating spinning green glass discs for traps because I know people are very keen on those. Although, having said that, I would also like some traps that could affect forgotten beasts. So maybe we want to put some spikes in this tunnel as well with someone to uh, do the old... <laughs> you know. Actually, that's a good point because if we open this up to the surface without anything blocking it, only traps, then Forgotten Beasts will be able to make their way through it. And that's frankly suboptimal. And I know they're digging this out pretty quickly, but we're not going to be opening up to the surface just yet. Okay, we're going to be taking precautions. The traps are going in pre-opening. Okay? Okay, good, good. We've got to catch up with chat. It's so far. Oh, there's a little re. There's a little re. I apologise. I apologise. Um... 
the dwarves will pass over all of your traps by default. Oh, Xavier Sinclair, just explaining stuff in chat. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I don't need to answer that question, which I answered already. Idiot. What a fool I am. <clears throat> uh, but You may want to get on building the components for those traps. God damn it, Ocelot. You and your crazy facts and logic and science. Ugh. I bet you don't even believe in homeopathy, do you? He says, by the way, I also do not believe in homeopathy. And if you do, I feel like you probably should try Googling it a bit. It's, uh, you know, absolute bullshit. Um, where were we? Let's uh, get down to the workshops. I'm already past the workshops. Here we go. And let's put an order in for some mechanisms. Hmm? Because at the moment we have a standing order to keep 10 in stock. But I feel like that is going to be a pretty, pretty low quantity for the amount we're going to need. So, on top of that order, I'm going to say JMQ mechanism. And I'm going to order up some rock mechanisms. How many, you may ask? Well, let's order a hundred with a little quaver in my voice. Well, well. Uh, and then let's put that as the highest priority order in the fortress so that they get on their little... Uh, on their little feet and do the job. Uh, sorry, I've got to catch up with chat quickly. Got to catch up with chat quickly because we're so far behind. Mm. You are the trap lord, says Righteous Bono. Oh, well, thank you very much. I uh, I will do my best to live up to that title. Uh, Hiber Noways here. Good evening. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Uh, those are not dwarves. Surf surface Dweller. Vianex Sharp. Vunk Sharp? Vunk Sharp. I'm going to take a Stab at that. Vunk Sharp. Let's call you Sharp. That's the easiest way to do it for now. Uh, those are not dwarves, Surface Dweller. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what you're responding to here, but okay. Okay. I mean, have I got some non-dwarfy members in my fortress? I have. I've got some goblins, but we've also got a shitload of undead on the surface, and hopefully, hopefully, they'll get, a, they'll get out there and start fighting the enemies once there's an opportunity. I mean, they're supposed to. That's why they came here, for the purpose of fighting monsters. And I hope you came here for similar reasons. I hope you're here to fight monsters. I mean, not actual monsters. Uh, you know, metaphorical monsters. After all, man is the real monster. Uh, where were we? Sorry, I'm just... Uh, I'm seeing so many new names in chat. Hello, everybody. It's very unusual. Thank you for joining us. Hyber Noway says, We're a penis-free zone. Dennis Penis, on the other hand, we are very pro. Ah, Dennis Penis. What was the, the name of the comedian who did that character? I forget. He was in um, Game of Thrones, wasn't he? He done a, he done a Thrones. He was... Um, was it... It's not Beric. He was the guy who hung out... No, no, it wasn't... No, not Beric. Um, the guy who could resurrect people. Ah, oh, I forget. I forget. Hello, Melo Yeager? Melo Yaga? Maybe you just weren't looking for them. Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh my god, I've missed a load of stuff in Trap. I apologise to uh, Xavier St. Cloud. Uh, I missed the stuff about Minotaurs, but that looks interesting. It looks interesting. Capturing a Minotaur sounds fun. Um, anything in that accent sounds just delightful. Ooh, whose accent? My accent? Do I have an accent? Of course I do. I understand that. I'm being uh, I'm being daft for the sake of comedy. Um, dum -dum 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 -dum. There's everyone saying the YouTube link. That's excellent. We're catching up. We're catching up. Do it creative witch. No. Do it creative twitch. That makes more sense. <laughs> Scent? Let's try again. That makes more sense. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us again. And... Uh, you should do voice acting, my dude. You have a really unique voice. Well, thank you, Righteous Bone. That's very nice. That's very nice of you to say. I mean, I'm not the world's most amazing actor. But, uh, you know, if anyone's looking to get a character voiced, I'll give it a crack. I mean, be warned. Be warned. I can say some strange stuff. Occasionally. I mean, it's not all the time. Sometimes I'm silent. <clears throat> it happens. It happens. C, told you. Anyway, uh, oh look at that lovely graveyard filling up with empty boxes and full boxes. Mmm, that's how a graveyard should be. Uh, this tunnel's taking forever, isn't it? Let's see if they're actually making these uh, mechanisms I asked for. There's nobody in the mechanics workshop, but I am seeing a flashing mechanism, and I am seeing someone heading to the stockpile adjacent. So let's see if that works. 
Maybe I need to speed things up a bit uh, by making a nice little hole between the two places. There we go. Now a direct line is possible. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. A straight line from work to the stockpile. Oh, it's too good. Uh, excuse me. Paul K, that's his name. He did do a Thrones. He did a big Thrones. He was quite good. I liked it. Not must Night Fury. Haven't missed a whole heap of stuff. Mainly just me gibbering. Uh, oh, and we've uh, we've dug a trap corridor. Yet to be filled with traps, but that will come. That will come. Uh, that does beg the question: What does a charming Brit sound like when he tries to imitate a Scottish dwarf? Um, I mean. Don't know. I don't know any Scottish dwarves that I could imitate. Are there any famous Scottish dwarves? Does it count if Warwick Davis tries to do Warwick Davies, sorry, tries to do a uh, a Scottish accent? What do you reckon? Do you reckon he's got a good Scottish accent? He must have a pretty good Irish accent by now after doing all those leprechaun films, right? I bet nothing he's ever done in those films is offensive, right? Surely not. Surely not. Funnily enough, I've never seen a, a leprechaun movie, and. It feels like an enormous gap in my uh, in my horror film canon. I should have seen them. By rights, I should have seen all of them. I've seen all of the Critters movies. That's not true. I haven't seen the most recent one. I skipped through it a bit and went, ooh, shit. Ouch. I also haven't watched the latest Tremors movie, the one set in the Arctic. I, I also skipped through that one and went, ooh, shit. How the mighty have fallen. The first couple of movies in that series were pretty good. You know, obviously the, the the first one is the best, but, you know, the second one's not bad. Hasn't got any bacon in it, though, which is a shame. It's a shame. The film was... The first film really did... Uh, really did get uh, most of its juice from the bacon. That's, actually, that's not true. The whole cast is pretty good in that film. The writing's good as well. It's a good film. If you haven't seen Tremors, watch it. Watch it. Very well worth a watch. Oh, God, this hole's taking a long time to dig, isn't it? Um, I should probably... Oh, shit, we haven't got any cages. Oh, we do have a shitload of tin, though. Am I, how's my bar situation coming along? Let's check the stocks for bars. What have we got? Oh, interesting. This indicates to me that uh, we didn't set the... Uh, we didn't set the search um, accuracy. Count accuracy, that's the one. Here's the bookkeeper. If we say S for settings, there we go. All counts will remain accurate for the foreseeable future. Now we'll be able to see how many bars we've got. It'll take him a second to actually count everything, but it'll be fine. It will be fine. <laughs> uh, I'm Scottish, says Dave Velociraptor. I'll give an accurate review of a Scottish accent. Oh my goodness. This is, this is like, this is always... The worst kind of scenario, isn't it, when people come in and say, uh, "No, I am from that region, and I absolve you of all possible." Next minute, we'll have someone coming in saying, "Hello, I'm from Nigeria. Please do an accent, a comic Nigerian accent for me. I absolve you of all guilt." And then the next day, there's like a live stream fails video of me getting banned for life. That doesn't feel sensible. Doesn't feel sensible. It feels foolish. I know it's a kind of weird, fuzzy area of what accents are acceptable to do. If you do them, like, really good, I suppose it doesn't matter. But, I mean, as soon as you stray into the cartoonish end of the spectrum, it becomes, you know, a little bit, a little bit, you know. <laughs> should he have done that? I don't think so. I don't think he should have done that. I feel like he should have probably said, no, nope, seems like a bad idea. I'll leave it. Um, where are we going? Uh, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. Griff Rhys Jones proved that dwarves are Welsh. Ooh, amazing. I mean, I I think uh, you know it's it's weird how the the fantasy trope of all fantasy creatures having British accents has emerged because it kind of for people from the British Isles it kind of makes everything a bit weirdly like local, you know. It kind of made sense for me in Game of Thrones that it was like an English accent cast, excuse me, if not an actual English cast necessarily all the way through. But, you know, it's kind of... Uh, I'm so used to hearing American accents in media that hearing people speak in English accents almost kind of makes me go, oh, here we go. 
cheap. <laughs> can't afford can't afford Hollywood budget here. It's all English people. Oh dear. Uh, where are we going with this? Let me catch up with what's going on in chat. Hey, it says Righteous Boner. I watched the Arctic movie. It's so bad that it's so good. Mm. I mean, is it so bad it's good as in like Bruce Lee, the man, the myth? Or is it uh, is it not quite that bad it's good? I don't know. Because it seems like it's got a certain amount of production value to it. I've actually watched videos about it. Do you know, um, those of you who've been to the channel more than once might remember me recommending... I, I constantly recommend this channel and I keep forgetting it. Um, oh, fuck! What was the name of it? Like a horror channel that has... Uh, it's got shadows in the title. Um, oh, they did a video about Tremors. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. Fuck it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm going to go into my history. I'm going to type Tremors. How many videos can I have watched about the Tremors series over the last year? Not that many, right? Not that many. Here we go. T-R-E-M-O-R-S. Tremors. Doing a little search. Don't worry, you can't see this. I'm doing it. In Praise of Shadows. He's got like a 50-minute video doing a little rundown of the Tremors franchise. And um, to be honest, it's really good. Oh, I, I have watched two videos about Tremors. I also watched Tremors Review from Red Letter Media. And I've also watched Angori Tom playing a game called Desert Skies, apparently, which is Tremors the Game. I don't even remember watching that video. Oh, there's a notification. Hello. Oh, well, thank you very much for the follow. I'm presuming that's someone from chat who just followed. I won't read your real name out. That seems uh, seems like a bit doxy, doesn't it? Seems a bit rude, but thank you very much. Muchos gracias. Right, there we go. Let's close that down again. Get the Google wipe back up and uh, bring up some more Dwarf Fortress. Here we go. Everything good. Good. Oh, the tunnel's nearly done. I bet we haven't got anywhere near enough of those mechanisms, though. Uh, let's have a look at the... Let's have a look at the stock screens again. Let's have a little look at the stocks and see if we can see how many bars we've got now. This is better. So we've got one iron bars. Okay. Uh, we've got four gold bars. <clears throat> a silver bars. Uh -huh. Copper bars, bronze bars, tin bars, billion bars, rose gold bars, and charcoal bars. I think we will make bronze. Or well, bronze is for weapons, isn't it? And we've got a lot of fucking tin. I know people were saying make copper with it, don't make other stuff with it. But Jesus Christ, I mean, do we have enough copper to use all that tin to make bronze? I don't think we do. Maybe some tin cages. Because we need to, we haven't got access to wood really, so just in case we need beds, we'll do it. I'm going to order them up. JMQ uh, tin cages. Speaking of cages, Nicolas Cage in Color Out of Space, eh? Good movie. Good movie. It made me tingle in all the right ways. It made me feel really special. Uh, let's put 50 of those in the order and see what happens. <clears throat> Fingers crossed they get made. That'd be very nice. Oh, actually, let me also check. They have started making the mechanisms. That's good. This is good. This is good. Uh, Darby O'Gill. Hang on, I'm reading this without actually uh, <laughs> actually pre-reading it. Actually, we can go further up. Uh, Do It Creative Twitch says, Did you have any weird beasts or vampires in this fortress? If yes, how to track slash isolate them? Well, no, I haven't. However, I am a bit of a cheaty Peter. And uh, I have been using... Uh, Ah, yes, that's better. I have been using Dwarf Therapist. Uh, there's an option in the uh, options menu uh, which allows you to have any of the vampires or werewolves that turn up in your fort highlighted uh, so you can immediately see them and deal with them as you see fit. I know it kind of takes a little bit of the mystery out. It takes a little bit of the investigative aspect away, but fuck it. You know what? I've already... I'm using... DF hack, I'm using Dwarf Therapist. I've broken the meniscus on the cup of cheats. Why not stick my straw deeper and suck? <laughs> he says, doing some very unpleasant noises. <clears throat> and now you get to use the word meniscus again. Long-time viewers may have noticed. I like that word. I use it at every possible opportunity. Dave Velociraptor is not absolving me of any guilt. He probably cannot guarantee that my Scottish accent won't get me stabbed. I mean, fingers crossed, eh? Maybe I'll do a Scottish accent? If I'm thinking about doing a Scottish accent, you can definitely bet your fucking balls it's going to be shit. 
so it'll have to catch me in a moment of whimsy when I decide to launch full-throated into a Scottish accent. But what kind will it be? Uh, Darby O'Gill and the Little People is a leprechaun movie on Disney+. Plus. It does a great job of showing what the Americans thought of the Irish in the late 50s. It also shows that Sean Connery, A, cannot do an Irish accent and looked 60 years old even in his 20s. He has always had a fairly... Uh, an old, oldish look about him, hasn't he? Have you seen those pictures of him as a bodybuilder in the in the navy, like ooh, like an old world, old fashioned bodybuilder before the advent of steroids? Mm. Uh, the fantasy trope also says the good guys are American. That's true. That's true. Whenever you hear someone in an American movie with an English accent, they're either going to be a complete bastard or a goofy doofus. You very rarely have them be uh, like uh, cool lads, cool kids. Uh, I also said Griff Rees Jones would make John Reese davis I'm as sorry as sorry gets. Ah, oh, well, there's so many Reeses out there, aren't they? Aren't there? You know, if we took John Reese jones and John... Uh, Griff Rees jones sorry, and John Reese davis sprayed them with liquid nitrogen and then shattered them into a thousand million parts, you would have a big pile of Reese's pieces. Well, actually, they'd be more like Reese pieces or Reese pieces. Oh, you could also have that Reese guy from the League of Gentlemen as well. There's actually quite a few famous Reeses out there, aren't they? It's a, I wouldn't call that a common name. I'd say that was a fairly exotic name. But um, maybe not in Wales. I mean, then again, I mean, how do, I mean, I suppose it, depending on where you live, Wales is probably quite exotic, isn't it? If you're from, say, I don't know, Guangdu province in China... What's that place in China where they've got those like canyons, those gorgeous canyons with the rivers running through and the big limestone pillars with all the like trees and stuff in there? Is that Guangzhou province? Wherever. If you're from somewhere in the Chinese heartlands, I imagine Wales is going to seem like a fairly exotic place. Or will it in the age of globalisation? Perhaps not. Perhaps the lifestyles of the, the, the mainland Chinas... Chinas? The mainland Chinese and the people of Wales are very similar these days. Perhaps you'll have to return to more primitive hunter gravity, hunter gravity, hunter gatherer conditions. Like, you know, something you might find in deep in the Amazon jungle. Maybe that would be the, how, where you have to go to find someone who finds Wales exotic. An intriguing thought, an uh, incoherent thought, but intriguing nonetheless. Uh, Sharp says, how can you force sieges? I don't know. I don't know. Is there a possible way to do it? I can imagine in this place, just be very close to Necromancer Towers and they'll come. You probably can't avoid sieges where I am. Um, I haven't watched The Man, the, the Legend. Man, the Myth, Righteous Boner. Be careful. Bruce Lee, Man, the Myth. Very good movie. Except technically not a good movie. You know what I mean. Uh, but I enjoyed the Tremors movie with a friend. We laughed our asses off, so watch it with a mate. Also beer. Uh, I haven't watched a film with a a mate for a long time actually I mean me and Kel don't even watch that many movies at the moment I'll have to I've been saying I'm gonna have to pin her down and give her a little clockwork orange introduction to my uh, my favorite movies of all time Return of the Living Dead's got to be one of the first if I can find a decent uh, a, is it on blu-ray is uh, Return of the Living Dead on blu-ray I have to look for it is it on um, Netflix holy shit if it's on Netflix then I watch it on there um, I mentioned goblins. I did mention goblins. We've got goblins in the fort. There was a Tremors season I didn't see in 2018. Yeah, there was a TV. There was a movie. Uh, sorry, a TV series. But it wasn't apparently not that great. Apparently, I'm not sure though. Uh, shit is okay, but Russ Abbott is beyond the pale. What about um, Richard Herring's Scotch accent in quotation marks? There, I'm, that's his Scotch, not mine. Um, I suppose a Scotch accent could technically be the accent of someone who's drunk too much Scotch, actual like Scotch. Is uh, it could be just a, a, a way for a, um, like a name for a, a, a slur, not a slur against the Scottish. You know what I mean, like a slur. But I mean, maybe not. It does still sound like a, a slur against the Scottish, doesn't it? Redact that from the list. Uh, when do I usually stream? Uh, normally Sunday nights as it is now, uh, late nights and Thursday nights, late night. But every now and again, I try and do a daytime stream. To be honest, I um, quit smoking at the beginning of the year and I got my first Twitch payout since quitting smoking <laughs> recently. And I bought a big stack of games with the money I would normally have uh, literally burned. 
So I, I've been really distracted by Red Dead Redemption 2 and I haven't done any daytime streams since I bought it, like an absolute ass. But, you know, as my interest in that game wanes and uh, the world of horror and uh, Satisfactory and, you know, all the other games I bought, um, maybe there'll be more daytime streams. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, DF is a game that requires an entire committee to run effectively. I don't consider it cheating. I think of it as delegating security. Delegating security. Correct, Hyper No Way. I agree with you. I mean, there's no real cheating in Dwarf Fortress. The, the, I mean, just in a way, the only true cheating is learning how to play. <gasps> oh, that's almost like that um, film with the computer that plays tic-tac-toe and starts nuclear wars. Do you remember it? Do you remember it? The only way to win is to learn the game. That's not the actual, that's not, don't worry, that's not the tagline. Uh, you're getting unhappy, Night Fury. Okay, it's pause time. We're going to do a little bit of pause, Fortress. I'm going to go back over to Fortress and stop you guys looking at Dwarf Therapist, because that's boring. Uh, and then we'll have a little look uh, down chat, catch up. And then once I've caught up with chat, how long have I been recording for? I've been recording for 30 minutes. I'm going to pause the recording and go for a little, little wee, maybe get myself a hot drink, because I'm actually thirsty. And desperate for a piss. I've got it. I've got it in. I've got it out. There's no stopping myself. Uh, Lol says, "Righteous boner." I'm from Egypt. That's exotic, though, and I know all about whales. All that I know about whales is that they shag sheep. Oh, oh. I mean, Egypt, ancient Egypt, definitely very exotic. I don't know. I've, honestly, I've never been to Egypt. My dad's been to Egypt, and he said that uh, he went on a diving holiday. Uh, and he said that when they brought the fish back onto the boat and it was cooked for them, he got the piece that had the eye in it. And uh, I was like, oh, is that an Egyptian thing? Is that, is that what they do? They just leave the heads on the fish? And apparently so. I don't know, though. I don't know. I feel like he may have got a slightly dodgy tour boat, but we'll see. We'll see. Egypt's the same time zone as the UK, isn't it? I mean, let me guess. It's about 20 minutes past 12 where you are. Is it? That's my guess. That's my guess. Uh, Guangxi says Hyber No Way. Ah, that must be the place with all the towers. At least I can't. It's very rarely that a comment from that long ago gets a one word response that I actually remember the context for, but perfect. That worked. Uh, daytime stream Red Dead Redemption. We'll watch it, says Night Fury. <sighs> I, night, night, I mean, Red Dead, loading up Red Dead was like a slap in the face. It was like, it went, oh, by the way, you're going to have to put some of these graphic settings on medium. And even then, you're only getting 30 frames a second. And I was sitting there going, what did you say to me? I, excuse me? I paid over a thousand pounds for this computer and if it's going to be put on medium graphic settings i'm going to be writing a fucking letter to your boss dear box star games how fucking dare you say this to me and i got very cross uh, but luckily i came to terms with it and uh you know i thought this is a game this is for me this is my private little game this is a game that i will keep locked away in my masturbatorium and only use it when i am alone that's not true, actually. Uh, whenever there are people around me in the house, I don't stop playing. I don't like shamefully shove the pad underneath the bed duvet and go, oh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just playing a cowboy game. It's, you know, <laughs> that's not what happens. Anyway, let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. Uh, the only way to win is not to play war games. Correct. With old, um, what's his face? The, the worm man from uh, the, uh, uh, the early American Godzilla movie. Hello, Plutonium Jesus. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us again. Huang Shan also have beautiful mountain peaks, although those are granite rather than limestone. Oh, I say it seems that people in chat know more about China than I anticipated. God, it's always a disappointment when you're watching some anime and you realise, ah, oh, fuck, it's Chinese. They just haven't quite made it there yet, have they? Korean, good. Japanese, good. But Chinese animes, especially the CG ones, fucking hell. Quality control, please. Please. Anyway, where were we? Um, Dave Velociraptor says, wash your hands. I will. And I am Samoth. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Says, Whopper. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm presumably. Um, four hours ahead. Oh, so that's, uh, yeah, we leave the head on the fish, but nobody eats. 
It's one hour difference. I thought so. I thought I thought that the the, um, the meridian went pretty close to Egypt. Uh, ba -dum -bum -ba. Maybe my dad just didn't realise he was supposed to go. I got the head bit. Can I have another bit? Maybe he didn't realise. Doesn't talk like that, by the way. Um, <laughs> I figured Portugal was in the same time zone as the UK, and Egypt is definitely to the right on a map. But not that far, because if you think like projected the line across a sphere, we'll have to look. Well, someone will have to Google it, won't they? Hello, Cupo. Welcome back to the stream. Thanks for joining us again. Everybody should check out Cupo's channel. He also does Dwarf Fortress uh, and very, very beautiful forts, powerful fortresses, powerful, beautiful images. Uh, unlike this hideous fucking mess. But yeah, check it out. It's good. Uh, Righteous Bonus says, yeah, I would hella suck it if it was four hours. Excuse me? It would hella suck if it was four hours. Sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to watch the Premier League. Oh, yeah, I mean, well, I suppose you could, but you'd just have to be absolutely red-eyed at the end of it. Like, oh, you're going to fall asleep now. I don't know why you'd turn into Prince Philip. Uh, it's ages east and should be more, but time zones make better politics than they do sense. Ah, uh, okay, that does make sense as well. Uh, ba -dum -bum -bum. I have a Discord channel. You can—that's my that's my bot talking and promoting my Discord channel. I don't know why I need to read that out. Don't promote him, says Night Fury. Oh heavens above! Let's not get crazy. Let's not get crazy. Kupo is an artist. It's true. It's true. Right there we go. We've caught up. Sean Dyche is the man. Um, is that the one who says that's the Burnley way? The um, the pie guy. Uh, War Games. Oh, the uh, explanation of the film War Games. The name. Oh, Whopper. I remember now. Yes. Yes. It was the name of the computer in War Games. You know what? When I was a kid, the thing that I took away from War Games, apart from the fact that you could have computers communicate over phone lines, how quaint, um, the thing that excited me most about that was one of the guys had like a, a radio controlled flying pterodactyl. And I remember seeing that in the cinema, or maybe even on video, and going absolutely fucking berserk. Like, oh, he's got a radio-controlled pterodactyl! Fuck! And if, if, if 1980s me could see the quadricopters and drones of today, I think I would have hit a premature puberty. I would have spontaneously turned into an adult and flooded my undergarments with the uh, sexual secretions. It was... I mean... It, the, the, the the current day would blow my tiny mind. It really would. I'd love it. If only I could send me a time machine. Although I'm sure that would cause more trouble than it's worth. I should probably avoid doing that. Note to self, do not send time machine back to self. There we go. Let's hope I read that. Uh, controlling dinosaurs with radio waves sounds cruel to us. Oh, Dave Velociraptor, come on. You've got to believe, you've got to, you've got to realise it was a robot pterodactyl, not a real pterodactyl. Heavens above. A real pterodactyl would like be made of stone and, uh, you know, fall out of the sky pretty easily. I wonder if it's like technically feasible to create a flying machine out of stone. Barring any like hollowed out asteroid spaceships, that doesn't count. Like a, a machine that flies in the atmosphere using stone as its primary construction material. Hmm. It's probably going to be like a ludicrously like power hungry, but it, I imagine it's probably feasible. If, like at some point. Uh, pumice. Oh, pumice. Yes, but is it structurally? I don't think it has the strength to like take the weight on a wing. Then again, would you use wings? I suppose you could just put an enormous fucking rocket on the bottom of a rock and fire that into space, right? Or you could make the rocks structure out, the, the hollow it out and make that into the rocket. That's probably like feasible at some point. Who knows though? Who knows? <laughs> I don't want to cure dinosaurs. I want to turn, I don't want to cure cancer. I want to turn people into dinosaurs. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, I never saw the Alien movie until I was much older, Righteous Boner, and just the concept used to scare the shit out of me. I remember, like, in uh, we had a, a place called Broadway Video near me, which was the biggest video rental place, and they, for some reason, put the kids' videos 
in a place where you had to walk past the horror section to get to them. And just the video covers alone. Um, oh God, there's an Italian director who made a film called Rats. Uh, the cover of that was like a... I think it was a Fulci film. I'm not sure. But um, the cover of that was like a man's face and a rat's face, like an airbrushed picture. And like on one side, it was the rat and one side, it was the man. Oh my God, that gave me nightmares. It really did. And when I was stupid enough to pick up one of the boxes and look at the back, fucking hell, that was stupid. It's quite rigid. The Did I go for a pee yet? No, uh, I haven't gone for a pee yet. You're quite right. Maybe I should take the break. That does kind of make sense. That does kind of make sense. My babysitter showed me aliens when I was eight years old. It explains a lot. Aliens is a lot less scary than alien though, right? Aliens is a shitload less... In fact, Aliens, I would go as far to argue, not a very scary movie. Not a very scary movie. Much more of an action piece. Whereas Alien is fucking terrifying. I feel like the body horror, the invasive nature of the... Uh, what are those flashing blue things in the corridor? Question mark? Hello. Sorry to interrupt this, like, unbelievably long tangent with a bit of Dwarf Fortress, but what the hell are these? Dogs? Mutilated dog corpses? Really? Dog head? Oh, that sounds painful. Wouldn't want that. Uh, Abrazastit's neck? Mutilated dog corpse, mutilated dog corpse. Huh, okay. Apparently dog corpses have the same icon as Forgotten Beasts in this. Very exciting. Very exciting indeed. Uh, it's my piss. Mm. Oh, someone's requested a namey. You know what? I am. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take that break. Okay, just bear with me. We're going to go over to the home screen. Apologies to anybody who's come here not expecting a break, but uh, there we go. I'm just going to stop the music. Those of you watching on YouTube, um, I know that it's a stretch to call the video you've just watched a Dwarf Fortress video, but bear with me. In the next one, there will probably be more Dwarf Fortress. I mean, there will almost certainly be more Dwarf Fortress. So, uh, yeah, bye YouTube. Bye. See you in the next one. Well, it's a short one, isn't it? 42 minutes. That's definitely shorter than the five-hour one, isn't it? Yeah. See you later. Bye.